Okay, today is November 28th, 22. Um, things are getting better. I went in to Walmart uh, 62. Nobody said a word to me again. So nice. Um, some guys looked at some other guy and said, no one said a word. He said, no. He said, good. See, November 18, 22, between 2 and 6 p.m. by the hair salon. That weird Eric shows up and he screams it in to the hair salon how it was my idea to say we taped her before to come up with all this. It was all me and not her. And for all these people to turn on her and they fell for it and fell and went along with it. Ha 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 and laughing his ass off and how it was all him and his idea. And so my guy said, that was a, what's going on? I could even take care of it then if it was just you. Ha, ha, ha. Mocking these people for how they fell for it. Okay. I like crawling in a ball. I've been tortured. Okay. Um, November 24th, 22, I'm in Mercy Medical with the food poisoning. Uh, there's a nurse leaves in my room. There's a lady out there. And the nurse tells her, we all heard that Eric make fun of us for falling for this. No one will ever say a word to her again. Okay. All right. And they said the agent that called her back, that bullied her into saying that she was lying when she wasn't. Um, um, I, I can't even think at this point. Um, that, that she wasn't. Um, I, that some of those men... Uh, up there were so angry that he bullied her into saying that uh, they ran some experiments and I told them how not funny any of this is and they said they already realized it they're demons of hell I have a dent in the back of my head permanent dent it in okay I threw up so many times my stomach actually moved I have scans of my stomach I didn't have a high end or hernia. I do now. They said my stomach slightly shifted from throwing up so many times. I couldn't even keep saliva down up there. Yeah, well, that lady outside my room said I told them she better not have permanent damage. Well, I do have permanent damage. Probably need a body scan because they were stabbing me with needles repeatedly up there. Uh, you need to find out what they did 12, 21, 18, whoop, in the neck. Knocked out for six hours. Woke up with that in my head. Just find out what they did. Um, yeah. They sold the log and it's not like it's not public knowledge. Told you. This is all over the supplementary income. They are setting people up that are in the witness protection program. Or um, informant program. Attached to every case they get 5000 a month. is 60 grand a year to live on for the rest of their life. Because they've been victimized a witness of... Uh, of um, a violent crime and they testify for the government so the government replaces their income for the rest of life they get 60 grand a year okay no one can touch it it's government subsidy i've never got a dime and they have been talking around me that they're trying to steal it that's exactly what's going on they're setting up people in the witness protection program and then trying to either kill them or push them to suicide or uh, put them, try to put them in jail on crimes they didn't commit so that they can steal their supplementary income. I should have never went out without a dime. I should have had a, that card right away. Dave was such a bastard up there. He, my ex-husband, he took all the money out of the checking account and the water was toxic up there and we all ran out of bottled water and I got, because they were drugging me up all the time, um, I couldn't even keep but like soups down and stuff. I had to go sell things. They have food and water. And he makes 110 a year. I should have had that card right away. I never got a dime. Yeah. Well, they've been talking around me that those uh, men are trying to steal it. I bet that's their whole racket. Is stealing supplementary incomes from victims. It is illegal to steal any kind of government subsidy for anything meant for just that person. 
It cannot be touched. It cannot be obtained. It has to only go to that person. It is subsidized income just for that person and that person only. It's embezzlement from the government. They're playing with hell. I never even got a dime. <sighs> All right. I'm hoping somebody helps soon. I told you these people were so evil. They pretended they were my youngest son's family. Saying they were in it with that weird Eric and Michelle and all her family for photoshopping the shower scene when they kicked in my door and date rape drugging me. And they were going to help lie on me and they had an attorney and they had people coming up and saying stuff to me. I went to my son's house. And I told her how they lied to people. I have charges and all this crazy stuff. And she's like, why on earth would anybody think you had charges, Karen? I said, I call them the Pinocchio group. The liar, liar, pants on fire and the wah, wah, wah groups. And he, um... She's like, if somebody actually said you did anything wrong, they would be a Pinocchio, and they better have extra pants. Because their pants would burn, burst in fire as if you would ever do anything wrong. I started laughing. See, their plan was to lie to me and to lie to everyone else that they were helping Dave and Michelle by lying on me and going along with that shower scene and Dave being dirty. And they knew nothing. <laughs> when I, and she's like, I got some lady lying on me at work. And she's trying to get me fired. And I told her, I said, how I have, and my son's like, you still have your CCW, right? I said, yeah, I have my notary. Just redid my CCW. And I said, I just got my med cert. I can pass meds in the state of Ohio. Da, 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 da. And she, uh, uh-huh. And she's like, you can't even have an accusation with what you do. What I do is a form of nursing. I said, well, I do home health care and I work in a daycare. And I said, I work with a disabled. She's like, Karen, you can't even have an accusation. Why on earth would anybody even fall for that? <laughs> I looked at her and she's like, what's wrong with them? And I started laughing. They were lying on them, that they were helping them lie on me. So I wouldn't talk to them. So they get along with the scam. They had no part of it. It's been Michelle's family the whole time. Just lying, lying, and lying. Like they told people I have charges. And I've never been questioned or wrongdoing. I have never been prosecuted. I've never been found guilty. I have one traffic ticket from 89. And like the main officer over the protective life case starting September 27th or 28th of 18. <laughs> Told the North Canton Jackson Police June of 19, the worst thing you ever did wrong, honey, is bend over and probably we can wipe that one out. Till I made fun of the back of my knees. They caught that old man showing up, saying he was date rape drugging me and telling me to say crazy stuff in the first month. So they already knew people were drugging me up and telling me to say crazy stuff. Okay? And then those people admitted to shower scenes in the other room and stalking. And the guy flat out admitted it was him. November 18th, 22. Walmart 62 by the hair salon between 2 and 6. November 18th, 22, between 2 and 6. He screams it out that it was him. And that nurse at Mercy Medical on November 24th, 22, tape and audio. Right outside my room. That it was him. And that lady admit that they knew that, um, that an agent bullied me into saying I was lying when I wasn't. Okay. And that they ran experiments on me in front of people. Someone needs to fix this. Those people have become Nazis. Still praying for a miracle.